cream together one stick of butter, brown sugar, and white sugar. We'll start by mixing it for three to four minutes. And see how there's like this little chunk of butter here? Scrape the bowls down so any piece that was stuck underneath gets mixed evenly. Continue for another three minutes. Scrape it down again. And we're gonna mix it again for another three minutes. Okay, so everything is nice and fluffy now. Our egg mixture here, and we already mixed our vanilla in with it. And just drizzle it in until it's combined. I'm gonna pause it for a moment just to scrape down the sides. Another one minute or so. Good consistency, so we're gonna set this aside and um, work on our dry ingredients. We're going to mix in a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Then we're going to mix in half a teaspoon of baking soda. We've measured out our no sugar but you so sweet oats, so we'll add in two thirds of a cup of that. And we're gonna mix everything together. Just give it a gentle stir. And next we're gonna mix in our pecans, which are pre-toasted. Unsweetened coconut, we're gonna add that in as well. Chocolate pieces and chocolate chips. And we're gonna mix everything together. We're gonna to add our flour mixture into our butter and sugar mixture. So we're just gonna pulse the ingredients together. Okay, that's enough and we'll do the rest by hand. Okay, this is gonna go in an airtight container into the fridge overnight and we'll bake it up tomorrow. So I have the oven preheating at 350. I've taken my dough out of the fridge and let it sit at room temperature for about an hour. And now we're gonna scoop it and place it on the pan here. So we line the pan with parchment paper and we're just gonna scoop it out. We will place six cookies per pan. I have the six cookies and we are gonna put in the oven for, we're gonna check once the edges are browned and the inside, the middle still lighter, then we'll take it out. It'll be around 15 to 18 minutes or so. Enjoy and we'll see you next time.